Greetings. My name is Ed Ballo. I am the Program and Admissions Assistant here at the Technology and Policy Program. And I'd like to welcome you to the Technology and Policy Program webinar. A quick word about today's webinar format. I will be going through the slides, which normally takes about 20 to 25 minutes. We think it presents a good overall view of the program, its structure, format, requirements, and how our students are funded. We will also present admissions information with a few tips as you prepare your applications for electronic submission this fall using the GradApply platform. To begin with, before we begin, MIT does like its acronyms and numbers. So during the presentation, I will use technology and policy program and TPP interchangeably. They are of course, one and the same. Goal and mission. The technology and policy program addresses societal challenges through research and education at the intersection of technology and policy. Our goal is to mobilize scientists, engineers, and other experts to inform intelligent, responsible strategies and policies to benefit communities, both local and global. TPP prepares and educates leaders to address important issues confronting society and lead their respective communities in the advancement of responsible and sustainable technologies. Over 40 years ago, it became apparent to researchers at MIT that policy decisions involving technology cannot take place in a vacuum, that they required a solid knowledge of the social, environmental, political, and economic contexts in which they are devised. Inversely, these policy decisions also required a solid base in the technology at play. TPP was founded to fill the gap between traditional public policy and traditional technical education programs. Scientific and technological advances in areas such as energy, transportation, communications, computing, cybersecurity, and aerospace are rapidly expanding in size and complexity, creating the need for informed decisions and strategies. Decisions that require a consideration of the political, economic, and social environment, as well as scientific and technical constraints. We'll be coming back to some of these points in later slides, but I do want to point out that our goal is on dual professional competency. In essence, TPP is looking for individuals who are comfortable navigating in both spheres. I like to call it the technical and the contextual. Here are some basics about the TPP degree. It is a full-time degree program. The typical program length is four semesters, two years. Research-based degree with a written thesis required for graduation and the focus on dual professional competency, technical rigor in science and engineering, policy analysis, and development. With regards to this slide, it might be useful to first explain that MIT functions on the basis of units, whereas other universities generally function via credits or credit hours. A regular semester long MIT course will typically be assigned nine or 12 units. And it is important to note that you are also assigned units for your research as well as your courses. We'll talk more about research in a few minutes. Starting on the left-hand side, the TPP Research Seminar gives students the opportunity to present their findings in front of their peers. And it's also a great opportunity to learn what others are doing in their labs. It's often said that you will learn as much from your peers as from the classroom or the lab. This is especially true at TPP, where you'll meet dynamic and engaged individuals who are passionate about their respective and diverse fields. This cross-pollination is typical of TPP. Under methods and frameworks, TPP students have a choice of different microeconomics and quantitative courses. 
A list of courses is regularly updated to make the best use of MIT course offerings at any particular moment and time. Also, TPP offers boot camps to build skills in areas of economics and quantitative methods, and these are a great way to get up to speed. Under technical concentration, this is where the customization of the TPP degree is the most evident. The 30 units mentioned is about three courses and they commonly align to one's research area. The choice of courses in the concentration is generally a discussion between the student, the research supervisor, and TPP. MIT has a cross-registration agreement with Harvard University, so the choice of courses is even greater. Paramount to this, however, is that the courses in the concentration must present a coherent plan of study and are always subject to approval by the TPP Academic Office. Under development, these are skills that you'll gain through our curriculum that develop the ancillary skills needed for the technical professional that we hope you become. Examples are communication, presentation skills, cohort community building, and leadership. MIT is a research-based university and research is at the, at the heart of what we do. We will discuss the particulars of the Research Assistantship or RA in a later slide. Production of a thesis is a required element for the completion of the degree. Students work and learn as research partners with MIT faculty and research staff, often as a research assistant or RA. Thesis research is typically aligned with RA research. Technology and policy thesis, examination of an issue in technology and policy that builds upon a student's technical concentration, identification of the technical and social context of the problem, evaluation of options, identification of appropriate responses. These next two slides will give you some ideas of the field where, to, where TPP routinely places its students. Over the years, TPP has had students conducting research in all five schools at MIT and the College of Computing. And with it, we have grown a large community of researchers and faculty who know TPP and come to us with various funded research projects. MIT is a dynamic place and new research projects are coming online all the time. There are always new projects and new researchers. We have energy in the environment, nuclear, natural gas, carbon capture, electric grid, climate issues, pollution and health, innovation, policy and entrepreneurship, education, K through 12, STEM education, higher education collaborations, internet policy regulation, and cybersecurity. Humanitarian logistics, disaster relief, supply chain management for humanitarian relief, international development, JWAFs, Legatum, JPAL, MIT-based agencies, aeronautics and astronautics, commercial air transport, sustainable jet fuels, airport systems and design, human factors in space flight, NASA, issues of national security. The Institute for Data, Systems and Society was created in 2015 and TPP joined this academic and research unit at that time. IDSS advances education and research in state-of-the-art analytical methods in information and decision systems, statistics and data science, and the social sciences. Research in IDSS applies these methods to address complex societal challenges in a diverse set of areas such as finance, energy systems, urbanization, social networks, and health. As a core educational program within IDSS, TPP focuses on applications in the policy sphere. 
IDSS offers research opportunities across all five schools and the College of Computing. IDSS administers a doctoral program in Social and Engineering Systems, or SES, and TPP is providing these details for information purposes only. Any inquiries about SES should be directed to that office. SES students learn how to address significant societal challenges by combining the analytical tools and methods of statistics and information sciences with engineering and social science tools and methods. They study problems that correspond to significant social challenges with an emphasis on areas like social networks, autonomous systems, energy systems, financial networks, and urban systems. TPP at MIT, extracurricular activities. TPP student involvement in initiatives and organizations across the Institute include the MIT Policy Hackathon, the MIT Science Policy Review, MIT Clean Energy Prize, MIT Energy Conference and Energy Night, MIT Science Policy Initiative, MIT Water Club and Water Night, and MIT Sustainability Summit. I'd like to mention that our students have been at the forefront in the organization and execution of many of these conferences and initiatives. Uh, this shows really the dynamism of our students. Why TPP? I'd like to think of this slide as some broad brush strokes about the program alumni, cohort size, and affiliations with larger university research communities. The aim here is to start to give you a feel for our community of researchers. TPP was among the first programs of its kind, established in 1976, and has produced many leaders in the field of technology and policy. We have over 1,300 alumni worldwide a class of 25 to 30 individuals from diverse backgrounds who are passionate about incorporating policy perspectives with their technical research. TPP is part of the Technology and Management and Policy Consortium, a consortium of similar programs at leading universities around the world. Perhaps the most frequently asked question about the program involves the program cost and the funding structure. Nearly all TPP students hold fully funded graduate research assistantships or RAs that provide full tuition and a monthly stipend. These projects span departments, labs, and centers at all five schools and the College of Computing at MIT. Some students receive fellowships, external fellowships such as NSF, National Science Foundation, corporate fellowships or sponsored from their governments. These typically don't cover 100% of tuition and stipend and are supplemented by an RA. I'd like, to, I think the most important takeaway here is that once the 100% RA is established, TPP students will not need to fund their education. Also, it's interesting to note that the monthly stipend rate for graduate research assistance is adjusted every year to keep place, pace with inflation. And quite often, the RA will also pay your health insurance during the time that you are with us. Internship program. TPP students who hold nine month versus 12 month RA appointments have the opportunity to participate in a summer-long internship between their first and second years of study. Our students find exciting internship opportunities from several sources, from our extensive TPP alumni network, from the MIT International Science and Technology Initiatives Office, MISTI, or from research advisors and labs. Opportunity, uh, offers a unique opportunity to participate in policy making 
decision making and policy, government agencies, NGOs, think tanks, and corporations. And we have examples of recent TPP internships, U.S. Office of Science, Technology, and Policy, U.S. Office of Management and Budget, U.S. Congress, Tech Policy Intern, Virgin Orbit, SpaceX, NASA, McKinsey, Boston Consulting, Brattle Group, Tesla, Google, Apple, the World Bank, National Laboratories. The proactivity of our students in seeking out rewarding internships means that the list of companies and offices is always changing and evolving. Let's take a look at our student cohort. Here are some basics. Class of 2022, we have 29 students, 23 colleges represented, a wide range of undergraduate majors. Fields include mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, economics, statistics, physics, aeronautics and astronautics, mathematics, computer science, 11 nations represented, and a wide spectrum in years in work, a work experience and type of work experience. Applicants to our program are always curious to know where the TPP degree can take you. While the options are quite diverse, a good percentage of TPP alumni go into the four areas of consulting, industry, academia, and government. Examples of organizations joined by recent TPP graduates in the government category, Volpe National Transportation Center, U.S. Department of Energy, U.S. Department of Defense, Federal Emergency Management Agency, consulting groups, Boston Consulting Group, Booz Allen Hamilton, McKinsey, and the next generation of boutique consulting groups, startups in a variety of disciplines and areas, industry, manufacturing, Tesla, Apple, SpaceX, Google, and clean energy industries. I'd like to add that TPP students are of course MIT students and can benefit from the services of our careers office called Career Advising and Professional Development or CAPD. CAPD offers numerous career related services to all MIT students including posting and career fairs, career counseling, CV writing sessions, self-assessment and mock interviews. These services of course, are offered post-graduation to MIT alumni. With regards to the area of academia mentioned in the previous slide, here we have a partial list of the fields and schools, MIT of course among them, where our graduates have gone for further study. This is certainly not a fixed list of schools and is presented here to give you a flavor for some of the possibilities that exist in the post-TPP scheme. I should add that TPP graduates have gone on to study in areas that you would not necessarily associate with technology and policy, such as law school, medical school, media arts, and education. About 10 to 15% of TPP graduates enter a PhD program after graduation. Currently enrolled at MIT in PhD programs, Aero Astro, Mechanical Engineering, Civil and Environmental Engineering, Department of Urban Studies and Planning, Electrical Engineering, Computer Science, and of course, the Institute for Data Systems and Society, IDSS. Beyond MIT, students have gone on to Harvard, Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, Boston University, University of California, and others. Our online application opened on September 15th and will close on December 15th. You will go into the Grad Apply platform and create your identity. You can add and modify documents as you go along and only hit submit when you are ready. The timeline, uh, application deadline, December 15th, notifications in early March, application components and admission criteria at the link that you see below. We do have some tips for application. 
The statement of purpose should be comprehensive, concise, and clearly articulate your interest in technology and policy. Tell us about your background and your experience, future goals, and how TPP fits into your plan. Supplemental question, do not restate or rehash your statement of purpose. Be creative, let us see your spark. Regarding the GRE and the IELTS exam, the GRE exam is not accepted for the fall 2020 admissions cycle. The IELTS exam, or the test of English, the IELTS indicator, this version of IELTS can be taken from home for anyone with an internet connection. I should indicate that um, the IELTS indicator has been devised in response to the COVID-19 and uh, can be taken at home. Also, IELTS waivers for TPP applications are available for non-native English speaking applicants who have had at least four years of study at an English language university. This tends to be the case for applicants from India and from certain African countries. If you have questions about this, please email me, ebalo at mit.edu. I will now leave this slide up so that you can note our contact information. We, have, we are concluding the technology and policy webinar. We hope that you have found the information very informative. Feel free to check out our FAQ section from our website, which has been crafted together with our Technology and Policy Student Society, TPSS. Thank you very much for attending.